certainly a lot of talk about politics lately as we get closer to the election. Most social media feeds like Facebook just been have been taken oh. over by the top. Oh, yes, they certainly have. And we certainly live in a social media based culture, you know. So the question this election, when does sharing your political opinion on the web cross the line? Well, it's a tough question and one that's more prevalent this election than ever before. A recent poll shows about 30% of adults say that they've been attacked online for sharing their political opinions. A similar study describes Facebook as the dominant location for harassment, even among heavy Twitter users. Well, this is an issue that may be getting worse now that Facebook is allowing users to post which candidate or policy that they endorse on their profile page. You can even add an explanation about why you're making that choice, but experts say etiquette is pretty simple. Don't say anything online that you wouldn't say in person. The fact that, you know, I'm in Kentucky and you're in California, we don't really know each other, we happen to be in some kind of group or forum or something together, you know, in, in many cases that gives people, I guess they, they feel like they have a license to just say whatever they want and there won't be any consequences there. Um, as opposed to if you and I are sitting in a room like this having a conversation with one another, chances are we might be more civil to each other than, than we are online. Yeah, I think that's certainly true. And what can you do if you feel harassed? Well, take a screenshot, they say, and then report to the person, uh, report that person to the social media outlet. And in the most, most extreme yeah. cases, report it to the police. Yeah, and experts say this is an issue that will get better after the election, but of course, <laughs> online political conversation will never go away. No. <laughs> All right, very thing.